Hi guys, if you still don't know who I am, I'm Errol from Hidden Street Magic and I've been performing magic for over 10 years. Now, I started when I was in primary 3 when my cousin actually brought back some magic effects for me to see and I was so enticed with it, I continued learning magic since then. I love magic so much because magic is a very interesting and unique art form. If you are interested in the art of magic, I want to assure you that it's one of the best art forms in the world. I love magic so much because it is so unique. There are many wonderful art forms like dancing, singing, playing an instrument or even cardistry. But magic is very unique to me because it allows me to reach out to people whom you may not even know, perform something and really get them thinking. It gets them to wonder, it gets them to be very amazed over what you're doing and it brings them this joy of like, oh wait, you know I just saw something that was so special. That is why magic has been very special to me because it really helps me to help people to realize that there is more to life than what we see on a general daily basis. We are going to get into today's magic effect but just before that, I'd like to explain to you what is so special about the effects that we are going to teach. Over the years, we realized that many people who have interest in magic learn magic effects online. But very rarely do you see videos teach about the angles, pattering, your head motions, your eyes, what you say, what you do, and people who know the knowledge of how these magic effects are performed may not exactly know how to perform it. And because of that, they always get very negative responses or maybe no response at all from their audiences. Over the years, we have taught selected magic effects to various magicians and some of these magicians today actually perform magic for a living. We have trained magicians to perform in schools, events, even at the old folks home. We even bring our magicians out to perform for CCA points that can be used in your exams and in school. So you learn a skill that is so useful, you bring joy to people and you clock that hours that you know can be beneficial to you in future. That's what we love about what we do. Alright, so with that, let's dive into today's magic effect. Please understand that this video is the very first video that is made to teach magic to people who may not even know magic. So if you are an advanced, intermediate or professional magician, please give us some time to cover the basics with probably people who maybe this is their first magic video in the first place, right? So let's give them some time to learn the very basics and then we'll slowly ramp up from there. Let's get into today's magic effect. In today's magic effect, all you need is a deck of cards. You can use any deck of cards at all and the one that I'm using is the green steel deck. I like the green steel deck because it has a very nice tint of green and it's a very simple design. So audiences will not think that this is a magic deck, a prop deck, a gaff deck or any other special deck. They will just think that this is a normal deck and that really helps me a lot. Now let us start with the magic effect. I'll first show you how it's performed then I'll teach you the details of it. So you have a deck of cards and you allow them to shuffle the deck. Very important step. So they are very convinced now that all the cards are jumbled. They can shuffle it as long as they want, however many times they want. Then you spread the cards and ask them to choose a card. Now, I'm going to show you the card. I'm going to look away. So that's their selected card. Putting the deck together, you're going to dribble the cards down this way and you ask them to say stop anywhere. So they say stop. You ask them to put their card here. So for now, this is their card. It comes in here. And you take the rest of the stack and rest it on top. Now you're going to cut the stack multiple times, as many times as you want. You can allow them to cut the stack for you too. Once all the cutting is done, look at them intently in their eyes and tell them, I'm now going to try to figure out what your card is. Then you look through the stack. I see an interesting card. It's a very special card, I think. I got a card here. Uh, your card is a black card. It's a very special card in the rest of the stack. It should be this card, it is the Ace Bits. So now that you know how it's performed, let us get on to how you can perform it. At the start, allow your audiences to shuffle the deck. That is a very important step. By allowing them to shuffle the stack of cards, you are telling them subconsciously that this is a very regular deck of cards and they are messing it up anyway. There's no stack, there's nothing that you have done to the deck at all. It's a regular deck of cards and that thought in your audience's mind is very important. Now once you're done with all the shuffling, 
spread the stack out this way and let them choose any card at all. It doesn't matter. For now, let's look at this card. This is the 10 spades. The 10 spades remains in their hands. So you're going to put these 10 spades in their hands, in their pocket, anywhere except with you. Okay, these 10 spades remains with them for the moment. Now, once they're done looking at the card, once they're done remembering the card, you want to dribble down the cards this way and ask them to say stop. Now, in your dribbling, you must always remember to go slow. I'll show you an example. If you say this, say stop anywhere, and it goes so quickly, it is too fast and it feels like you are forcing them to say stop at a certain point. So what I like to do is to go slow. Okay, please say stop anywhere. Alright, and that feels more fair. Now it really doesn't matter where you stop. Okay, so wherever they say stop, you stop there and you tilt your wrist forward. Alright, and you want to point at the stack. So let me show you how it looks like. You're going down the stack this way. They say stop, point at wherever they stop at and say can you please put your card here now this is where the magic really happens while they are looking at this this is the view they are looking at what you are looking at is this card so i know in my mind now 10 clubs that's all i'm remembering okay the 10 clubs so i point here can you please put your card here once you're done pointing at the bottom stack you want to quickly tilt your wrist forward the idea is to send in that signal to them that you were not looking at anything, you were not glimpsing at anything, okay? So let me show you once again. You go through the stack this way, please say stop anywhere. Wherever they stop, you point at the bottom stack and say, can you please put your card here? And then you, while you're doing that, you're remembering this card. For now, it's the Jack of Hearts. And then you rotate your wrist forward so that they do not think that you're looking at any card at all. So you just say, okay, please put your card down here. I remember now, in my mind, all I'm thinking about now is Jack of Hearts, okay? Now, they put their card in. Whatever their card is, it goes in. And then this stack with the Jack of Hearts, of course, you don't show them this card, but in your hands, you're going to put it down this way. Now, what this does is to put the Jack of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, on top of the 10 spades, okay? Can you see? It's on top. The Jack of Hearts is on top of the 10 spits in this case. Once this is done, you can cut the stack as many times as you want. It really doesn't matter at all because what is happening is that you are just making the jack of hearts and the 10 spits go up and down in the stack together as one. So you're going on over and over again and when you are satisfied that everything is mixed up, when your audiences are satisfied that everything is mixed up, you look at them and this is the very important point. I see many magicians performing this and they just look and say, I'm gonna read your mind. Okay, I got your card. It's too fast, it's too unnatural. Think about Mickey Mouse when he's performing magic. Think about um, Harry Potter when he's performing magic. They take a wand and then they cast a spell and ding! Then the magic slowly happens. It's not like, I'm gonna snap my finger, boom, it's gonna happen now, okay? Very rarely do you have magic that happens so quickly, especially when you're trying to read someone's mind. So look at them and think. Usually what I do is I look at the iris, okay, of the, of the eyes. So you look at the black portion and just see, is there any design? Is it really fully black? Is it brown? Is it blue? Is it green? And you look at it for about one, two seconds. And to them, you are concentrating at looking into their mind. Again, that's the very important point. Take about two seconds to look at them and say, I think I got your card. Now, while you are doing all this, just remember, for now, I'm remembering the Jack of Hearts because that was the card on top of their card, right? So I'm just remembering the card that I saw just now. Jack of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, Jack of Hearts, and I'm looking at them. And after the two seconds, I say, I think I got it. I go through the stack, but what I'm doing now is to look for the Jack of Hearts. See, the Jack of Hearts is here. So I know that the card that is on top of the Jack of Hearts, because just now the Jack of Hearts was on top of their card, right? So now that I'm looking from the front, their card is the one on top of the Jack of Hearts. So I bring this up, I look at them, and you don't do this, don't, don't say, I found your card, ta-da! It's too fast again, it goes slow, go slow. Okay, so what's very important at this point of time is you want to build that impact in them. You want them to feel like, oh, you know, he didn't get it right, he can't possibly read my mind. So what you need to do is to look at them, and say, I think I got your card. It's it's this card. Um, hmm. 
your, your card is a black card and obviously I'm looking at the card right so I'm getting it right but I just want to you know draw in that like I may be wrong so that they feel really excited like yes he's gonna get it wrong he's gonna get it wrong there's no way he's gonna read my mind okay I, I see a spades it's the 10 spades you see so I slowly draw them to the conclusion that it's the 10 spades they're surprised and then I end off by turning this card around and I show the card and they are surprised too and it's very important to show them the card at the end because then there's a visual aspect it's like you they hear it and now they see it and it goes like booms in their, in their minds in their hearts they're like, oh my gosh how did he do that in the first place okay so that's how you perform this magic effect i would like you to go and practice this effect multiple times you should practice to the point in which you can perform this from start to end as a very single nice flow without much thought you know what comes next okay and once you have done that i would like you to go and perform to your relatives your friends your family and leave in the comments below what is their response i want to know what is their response when they see you perform this all right so i hope you enjoyed this video and i have a special bonus for you there was this student who learned the magic effect from me and he used the same ideology behind this magic effect and he performed for his class for over six months and none of the classmates could figure out how he did it so he was performing and he was having so much fun and no one could figure how he did it and they kept asking him to perform the same effect over and over and over again and for months nobody could figure out how he did it now i would like to teach you that effect that effect is an extension to this effect okay so i want you to perform this effect and then you can transit over to the next effect which is that effect and you can blow everyone's minds for the next few years okay and nobody will know how you did it they are just going to be very surprised you are going to have one of the best magic effects in your repertoire and you will be able to perform these over and over and over again bringing joy and smiles and excitement to people for the many years to come now this is a bonus effect and for you to be able to get this effect for a limited time only all right for you to get this super powerful magic effect all you need to do is to type in the comments below i love this effect okay just type i love this effect and once you have done that i would like you to go over to our instagram at hidden street magic and drop us a dm with your youtube name that is very important because we need to know who we are sending this bonus to and once you have done that we will send you your bonus effect that will teach you one magic effect which is an extension to the current one that a magician has been using for many years and no one can figure how he did it you will have access to one of the best magic effects and you will love it so much so don't waste any time now leave your comments below go over to our instagram drop us a message there and we will send your bonus video right to you thank you so much for joining us today i hope you enjoyed today's magic effect and we'll see you in the next one all right stay cool stay awesome and be your best always bye